yeah, um, hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Fire and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter for Ultimate. Um, now this was meant to be me fighting the Ketchup Watcher part 2, but I'll pretty much just tell you what happened here while I'm carving him. Um, yeah, he got away from me, um, so I went to chase him and stuff and followed him and things like that. Um, he was hung upside down, sleeping to recover some health. I went in there, go away Jaggy, and I pretty much took the rest of his health down with one hit. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, but yeah, look at him there, look at him sleeping. He looks like a little baby. But yeah, that's what happened to the Ketchup Watcher, folks. I went back into that area that he was in after he knocked me out again for the second time and then yeah I one hit it <laughs> yeah uh, he went some you lose some clue time 19 minutes 21 seconds oh, 894 centimeters Hmm. Could you watch you when I show up in expeditions? Yes, I shall save the game now. <laughs> but yeah, that is what happened, folks. A little caravan sequence. Anyway, will anything happen now I've slain him? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Oh, the Waikoon's open. Pretty much. The Wycoon. That's that's really really good. But yeah, first of all, let's go talk to the the man. Basically, he's telling me all about the Wyporium and stuff. Um, and pretty much I can trade items with him. Um, multiply bugs and certain equipment um, and things like that yeah let's see if there's any new weapons first of all oh wow the Ludroth bone sword that's what it looks like it is power that is a catcher watcher sword that's a, it has the same amount of power but more sharpness to it that's what the catcher watcher sword looks like it looks pretty cool don't it Long sword. Oh, by the way, if you want to skip this bit in this video, then you can do. Yep, that's what the long sword looks like. Sword and shield. Ooh, new dross nail. Dual blades. Nothing new for the dual blades. Hammer. The harming bird, which is pretty much it's a flower. Now in my main story with them doing, I've bought one of these and it's very powerful and it does poison damage. So yeah. Catch your whopper, which is that. <laughs> it's cool. Lance Expelga. Right then. Anything for the light bogan? Yes. Royal launcher. Oh wow. It's very yellow. Yeah. Heavy bogan? Oh wow. Azoros gun. Oh yeah, also, um, the Wycoon can like trade you items that from animals that aren't in Monster Hunt 4 Ultimate, like the Azoros. Yeah. Okay. What armour can we get from the Ketcher? If you were a blade master, this is a helmet. Zoom in a bit for you because it's a bit blurry. Very nice. Yep. For a gunner, I would get this one. Still looks very nice and pretty, but it's lacking the uh, them things. Ooh, on the Azoros helm. Very cute. Azoros cap. Whoa, Ludroth Kelm, 
Blue dust cap, whoa, blue dust cap. That's it. The chest. Oh, yep, Azaro stuff for the chest. I don't think there's any Ketchup Watcher things for the chest, but we'll see. Wow. Blue dust stuff. Arms. You catch your stuff, catch your van braces. These all look very, very pretty. Catch your guards, which is what I'll get. Yep. Azoros. And Ludros guard. Van braces, Ludros guards. Waste. Anything new? Catch your falls for the waist there. A little. A bow. Catch a coat. Azaros. Azaros coat. Ludroth, which is a very long dress. Ludroth coat, which is a still quite a long dress, but it's somewhat, you know, limited. Whoa. Catch your greaves. The boots. Very nice. Catch your leggings. Azaro stuff, Ludros stuff. But yes, um, now I'll talk to these people here. Any new cards we've got? Oh, it's been updated. Cool. Cool, we've got a dash juice and a vat a dash juice and a voucher. Cool. Uh no new guild cards, no new quests, no new palicos. Yes, I do want to activate Street Pass. Still. Yes. So yeah, if any of you guys and girls have Monster Fund, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, I can't speak, and uh, want a street pass with me or whatever, give me a go. And then I'll just talk to Waikoon here. <laughs> wow. Super fair, Ben. Yep, now we can now use the Waikoon and the Waiporium. Again, I'm just going to skip most of this talking, um, but if you want to, then uh, you can pause the video and read it for you for yourself. I'm going slowly so that you can, you know, pause it whenever instead of going no 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 yeah. No, don't want anything from you today. Whoa, he want he has something today. Yep. He's basically telling me that that I completed the urgent quest, so now level three. Um, so now level three quests will become available to me. Um, and also we have a new area to go to. But yes, we're ready to go to Hearth. Oh, cutscene. Very nice. Oh dear. Uh oh. And now for the cat.
Yep, and away we go. Yep, away we go, off to Hearth. Just ignore that noise, that's a train. Yep, the volcano -y region of Haas. Phone. Oh dear. Everyone seems a bit relaxed. Yep, he's just saying to us, so we need to, um, need to contact the chief and then he'll give us some jobs to do here in Hearth. Yep, talk to the chief. Right then, before we do that, I'll go back in here. Just show off my armour that I've got currently on. And with that, um, I hope you enjoy my videos here. Guys and girls, so please, 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 please be sure to leave a like, comment and if you're new, even subscribe. It would really, really help. Mean, mean a lot to me and it would really, would really, really help me out. As you can see, I can't talk today. <laughs> Yeah, but I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one. Bye.